Riff TV presents Meltdown's Meltdown. Well, the powers that be let me take Meltdown's Meltdown out on the street. Here we are at DTE Energy Music Theater, where they're about to rename the entranceway to DTE 33 Bob Seeger Drive. Good morning. Good morning, and uh, thank you all for taking the time to come out, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. You know, I, I don't want to sound like the get-off-my-lawn guy, uh, but 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it was a magical time playing the music of Bob Seger with the voices that, that were really there for all of us uh, when we were kids, and so uh, it's great to see those faces behind the voices again. So anyway, um, it's a special day today. We're here to honor Bob, um, but it's really an honor for us. Uh, for any of us that grew up in the 60s and 70s here in Detroit, and I'm one of those, um, there was no bigger star, there was no bigger God than Bob Seger in those days. And whether you're watching Robin Seymour, you're watching Club 1270, or, or every sock hop, or the dances at U of D, or whatever it might have been, Bob was everywhere. And the, what was magical about him was he was ours. He was ours. And you rooted for his success, and you were hoping that he would break locally, and you were hoping he'd break nationally and internationally. And when he did, he was still ours. He was ours, going away, doing great things, and always coming back. So the fact that he was, he was a Detroiter, and if you're a Detroiter, you know how we feel about our own. I mean, they are special, special people. And Bob has never lost his roots, and Bob's never lost his love for the city and the people that are here. And it's been an amazing two-way street and you know 33 sellouts in two weeks when we finish this run of six shows 33 sellouts this place opened in 1972 and in July of 72 Bob came out and played his first show um, and that began a great streak in 77 he sold out eight in a row that was a record uh, for this venue that stood for 38 years and Bob probably could have broken that whenever he sort of had the desire to to just plant himself for a long long time um, but he um, he has been uh, amazing he's been amazing for this venue um, and so so we're, we're going to honor him today with um, uh, the name of the street or the mailing address for this facility. And I can't imagine anybody that deserves it more. Nobody has brought us better memories. And if you ever want a magical night, come here and just watch people who have sat in traffic for, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. Watch them walk through the door. Uh, for a Bob Seger show. Watch the smiles on their face. See how they uh, are excited. I mean, they can't wait for the show. The pre-show is as much fun as the show. But Bob always delivered for us. He always gave you a great show. And everybody has Bob Seger stories. Everybody has Bob Seger stories with their girlfriend or their boyfriend or their wife. And his shows transport you back to a memory that you almost forgot that you had. Every time you hear something, it's, it's connected to a memory, and that's what makes these shows so special, and that's what makes Bob so special. So we're delighted to have you here, delighted to see you play, delighted to hear you play one more time, and I know we're going to have six amazing nights. So I'd like to welcome Arn Tellum, who's the Vice President of Palace Sports and Entertainment, to come up and, uh, and make the presentation. Thank you, Tom. Uh, and again, I'm going to echo what Tom said. Thank you all for coming today. Uh, it's really an exciting day for all of us, uh, for our organization, for 313 Presents. We're, we're honoring a rock and roll legend and a Hall of Famer who has inspired us and brought joy not only to this region, but to people through all over the world, and while remaining true to the values and spirit of this region. Um, I have to say, Tom talked about everyone has memories. So in 1976, uh, I came to Ann Arbor to go to law school I never had stepped a foot outside of Philadelphia. And uh, the first night, a group of us, and in 1976, my music was like the Rolling Stones, the Allman Brothers, and a local guy named Bruce Springsteen, uh, who was our religious deity. And, uh, and I didn't know, I have to convince, I didn't know much about Bob Seeger. But that night, the first night of law school, a group of us gathered in the law dorms for pizza and beer. And uh, my, my roommate, uh, who was from Ann Arbor, said, you got to listen to this album and put on Live Bullet. And, uh, and so much of my law school memories, and Night Moves came out a few months later, and so much of my law school memories are not my classes uh, or anything academic, but it's pizza and beer and listening to Bob Seger. And uh, his, it really was a backdrop for my years here. And, and uh, the music has stayed with me and resonated with me ever since. And for me, it's really an honor to be here to, to share this moment with you, Bob. Uh, two years ago, in 
in 2017, we were honored to have Bob uh, close the palace as the last show. And it was really a poignant, memorable, filled night. And I think, like, like Tom said, everyone who left there, I think, took away a special feeling that it was appropriate that Bob closed and was the last show at the palace. And we're thrilled to have you here at DTE for six sellout shows this summer. And as Tom alluded to, in 1972, you performed here. And what we have is a contract backstage. So you will do your 50th anniversary of that show three years from now. <laughs> No, no pressure, but we do have a contract here. Same rate. Right. Same rate. <laughs> um, but Bob, you've had an amazing career, but what we admire most is that throughout the years, you are still the same. Rock and roll never forgets, and we will never forget you. And it's my honor uh, to join representing Tom Gorris and representing 313 with Tom Wilson to join Independence Township and officially renaming the address from 7774 Sasha Bar Road to 333, 33 Bob Seeger Drive. So Bob, on behalf of Tom Gorris and Tom Wilson, please join me on stage to unveil the new address for DTE Energy Theater from this day forward. 33 Bob Seeger Drive, Clarkston, Michigan. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tom, you want to come? Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, yeah, oh, I got to thank so okay. many people. Uh, of course, number one, the fans. Uh, they're always number one. But uh, Palace Sports and Entertainment, Tom Gorris and, and, and Arn Tellum. Uh, 313 percent, uh, presents Tom Wilson and his team, Live Nation, Rick Franks, Dave Clark, Jim O'Brien, all our friends at radio, Independence Township, and it's overwhelming. I, I'm, I'm really happy about this. Uh, great honor, and thank you so much. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Some of the dignitaries still here kind of milling about. It's Meltdown signing off from this week's edition of Meltdown's Meltdown in front of all my fans here at DTE Energy Music Theater.